Everybody, let's go ahead and stand up. How great is our God, amen? How great is our Father? Everybody, just go ahead and give him a shout. Tell him how great he is, amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for your greatness. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for how awesome you are and how much you love each and every one of us. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for saving us and sending your Son. Thank you for washing us clean and healing us from all of our iniquities. Amen. Thank you for that, Father God. Thank you for your love. Amen. We praise you, Lord. The splinter of the King Clothes in majesty Let all the earth rejoice he wraps himself in light. Darkness tries to hide. Trembles at his voice. Trembles at his voice. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, see how great. How great.
Greater things 
Glory to God. Glory to God. Yay. Hallelujah. Oh, braba sanda basita la I see into the spirit. I see into the spirit and I see, oh, my, 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 the Lord saying, you closed up in your houses and you had merriment and you had joy and you had dancing and, and slumber and sleep. And while you were asleep, a mighty evil army invaded the land and took possession and has wrought destruction and evil throughout the land. Oh, oh, but I hear something in the distance. I hear in the distance the rattles of sabers. I hear an awakening. I hear a mighty army, the mighty army of the Most High, rising out of their slumber, rising out of their sleep, and saying, what have we done? Let us run to the battle. Let us take back the land. Let us do that which we are called to do. And the Spirit of God is breathing upon that army. And mighty is their strength. And mighty is their God. 
and mighty is the power that goes before them and they shall overtake and they shall consume the works of the enemy and the power of God shall be released and the glory of God shall be manifest and the hearts of men and women will be turned from darkness to light and there shall be a reviving and there shall be a move of the Spirit of God that will usher in the return of the Master and there shall be great joy in the land not because of the cars and the houses but because of the power and demonstration of the glory of God in the earth so take heart in this hour take heart in this hour that though much evil abound the Lord doth bound greater for greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world the work of the Lord shall be fulfilled the plan of God shall be consummated the lost shall be won and the hands of evil shall be forted and much grief will they bear but in the camp of the Lord there will be dancing and singing and shouting but not for things that concern the self but because of the advancement of the kingdom hallelujah 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 glory to God 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 Let them use you. 
so they can hear how I feel, how I love them. Let it push the hate, the anger, the fear from all our hearts, our souls, our minds. Come together. Let's as a church unite and reach the lost, the hurting and those in need. Let the Spirit move on you so you can move on them. Oh, listen to His voice, listen to His voice, listen to His voice. Spend time with the Lord. And learn his heart And preach the news Preach the news Preach the news It's not just for me and you It's not just for the church It's for the Lord Those that hate Those that hurt So let's listen to his voice Listen to his voice and rise up, rise up. Really quick, a couple of announcements. Don't forget Wednesday night Bible study. We're teaching on the Bible in the light of our redemption with E.W. Kenyon's basic Bible study course. And um, then on, of course, Sundays we've been teaching and our teaching on the fruit of the Spirit. Last Sunday this month is a combined 10 o'clock service. Everybody say 10 o'clock. Now, get your, gear yourself. Don't wake up on the Sunday the 31st and think, oh, we're going to church at 1 o'clock. No, we're going to be eating at 1 o'clock. Okay? Fried chicken and barbecue, Downey's, Eastern-style meal. Hallelujah. So just be aware of that. We'll be starting about 10 o'clock here. Combined service. Uh, Nathan and Dick are leading worship. I'm preaching. Um, they're, they're, their whole team is taking Sunday off. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, Janice, see me before you leave today. I need to ask you a question. Okay. You're not in trouble. Okay. All right. Jerry is. Okay. <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All righty. Um, but um, so on the 31st, we'll be doing our the 10 o'clock combined service. We'll be eating after church. So we're going to be asking, you know, some of y'all going to be working on prep work. And the barbecue will be done on Sunday, Saturday. The, um, the potatoes will be cut up on, and, and slaw will be cut up by Saturday. Um, and slaw made, potatoes ready to cook. And then the um, chicken will be cooked on Sunday. Which means that they're going to have a team out there frying bird as fast as they can fry it. Because we've got a lot more people this time. Hallelujah. Um, we, we kind of can tell you as soon as the church gets a certain size, we have to buy another fryer. <laughs> or two, if we're going to, be, we're going to do these kind of things. And we're going to do these things. One of the, my dreams in, in, a, in a new church building is a commercial kitchen with deep fryers and gas stoves and stuff like that. That's, that's my dream. Yeah, yeah, all the commercial stuff in there. Praise the Lord. All right. All right, it's time to receive our offering. If you're an offering envelope, Brother Joe's got the offering envelopes. If you're giving electronically, you can go ahead and, and ring that up. Uh, if you're giving by cash, like or check, you can see uh, Joe. PayPal and uh, cash app for those who are um, doing electronic giving, 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the tithe and for the offering. Thank you the people are blessed in accordance with your word. The heaven's windows are opened unto them in the majestic name of Jesus. And you pour down blessings that we don't have room enough to receive. Amen. All right, Brother Joe, go ahead and receive that. Um, due to the fact that our families with children are not here today, I don't see any out there. Huh? Where? Where? Emma's not a child. Emma's mom is waiting for Emma. The elder of the clan that goes over there, you may be, you may go. Because Miss Janie's waiting for you. They're going to have fellowships, what they're going to do. And was a sweetheart. Hallelujah. Now the other grandkids aren't, but she's here, so I just think she's a sweetheart. I'm not doing that. As we were standing there, Nathan was singing that song, and um, I heard the word of the Lord come to me and began to talk about how the evil had uh, taken the country. And, and, I, and, and as you begin to look at these things and see this, um, I, I'll be honest with you, we can become wearied in our minds from the constant barrage of what's going on. We face every day whether or not they're going to force the mandate on us to be able to work. There's talk of it everywhere. New York City just laid off 5,500 teachers because they wouldn't take the, the vaccination. The Air Force just shut down 4,000 pilots from flying because they wouldn't take the vaccination. Um, the, one of the local hospitals, Baptist, uh, laid off 400 nurses because they wouldn't take the vaccination. And it's going on all over the place. And, um, you know, and, and listen, you know, however you feel about vaccine or not vaccine, there's more behind this than stopping corona. That this is an evil plan of the enemy. It is beating people down. This mask mandate of people having to wear masks everywhere, we, we know for a fact they don't do any good. Why? Because people are still getting it. The vaccine, people who are vaccinated can still pass it on. They can. Vaccinated people can still get the corona, and vaccinated people can still um, infect others with corona. But if you take the vaccine, we're going to get rid of it. What? So your head starts tilting, doesn't it? There's more behind this. What? It's an evil agenda. It is control of the mind and control of society. And this is a force that has been released on the earth by the enemy. And you know, vaccination papers, we're talking about vaccine. Oh, we will never for require you to show a vaccine. And now that's all I talk about, vaccine papers. You've got churches, dear God help the church, requiring people to show their vaccination card or a negative COVID test to come to church. Oh, yes. I've seen the advertisements from their church websites. If you do not have your vaccine card or a negative vaccine test within 72 hours, don't come to church. We're the church. We believe in healing. We lay hands on the sick, remember? Hello. But this has begun to weary people. And it's wearying the church, and it's wearing people down, and they're getting tired. This force of evil has been released in the earth. But the Lord began to say, but there, I could hear, I could hear in the distance the sound of a mighty army rising up, taking their place, saying enough is enough. Not just with government mandates this, but of evil and of the works of the enemy and the power of darkness that has infiltrated our school systems, that's indoctrinating our children, that's infiltrated the news media, that is infiltrating society with all kinds of stuff. It is evil, 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 evil. Woe be to those who call evil good and good evil. And that is exactly what we got going on today in the earth. Those who call good evil and evil good. If you are non-LBGTQ plus 26 letters, you're evil. If you're pro, you're the cat's meow. That is exactly what the Scripture was talking about. Those that call good evil and evil good. Hello? We make 
People who, who say, I won't, I won't perform a homosexual wedding, and they will do everything they can in their power to absolutely destroy your life. I won't make a cake for a homosexual because I don't believe in that. They will destroy your life and your business and will not stop until you are just absolutely on the street destitute. It, is an, it has been released. It's released. But, 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 and that's what I heard this morning. I've been, you know, I've been, listen, I've been getting wearied of it. I've been getting tired of it. But I heard that army. I heard the sabers begin to rattle. I heard an awakening glory to God. Hallelujah. And them coming to themselves, out of, like out of a stupor. Say, so, my God, what have we done? It's kind of like, you know, um, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi in the bridge on the river choir. Some of y'all are going to get that. Come on now. Alec Guinness in the bridge of the river choir. Okay, now y'all got it? At the end, the, you know, the end scene where he's there and, you know, and um, you know, the guy comes back and he's going to blow up the bridge and he's, he's so caught up with his bridge and he's so enamored with his bridge and so captured by building a bridge and making it a proper bridge for the Brits. Although we're going to show these Japanese that we Brits are, can, can do it a proper bridge. It brings discipline to the troops and all this kind of stuff. And then, you know, the guy gets killed and he's standing there and he gets shot because, you know, the, 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 um, the plunger for the, 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 the explosives is sitting there and he goes, what have I done? And he stumbles and he falls across the plunger and blows the bridge up. <laughs> You've never seen the bridge on the river choir? Okay. So Obi-Wan Kenobi <laughs> blew up the bridge on the river choir. And uh, but when you, it's like he, he came to himself right there at the very end and went, what have I done? <coughs> I'm, some, I'm helping the enemy. I'm giving comfort to the enemy. I'm building a bridge for them to send troops to kill more British. In that one moment. And I'll tell you, the church is arising. I'm telling you, the prophet said, I and I alone have left. And the Lord said, I have reserved unto myself 7,000 that have not bailed their knee to bail. And I want you to know that in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, there is a remnant that have not bowed to political correctness, that have not bowed to evil, that have not bowed to the demands of Satan and his cohorts who are saying we will arise and we will go forth and we'll go in the power of God and we will demonstrate the power of God in the earth and we'll say no. In Luke's gospel, the 19th, uh, uh, Luke's gospel, the 10th chapter. Remember, Jesus said that the 70 out with power against unclean spirits to raise the dead, <coughs> to heal the sick, to cast out devils. And they came back rejoicing that the devils were subject to them in his name. And he said, rejoice not. He said, rejoice not that the devils are subject to you. Amen. And then he said this, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give you power. I give you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. <laughs> Notwithstanding, rejoice not in this that the spirits are subject to you, but rather because your names are written in heaven. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to know, church, we're in the hour. I said we are in the hour that playing church isn't going to work anymore. And the church is awaking. And the church is shaking. Hello? Hello? And we got, I, I, we got people all over the country right now going, what have I done? What have I done? And the Spirit of God's moving them. We have power and authority. <clears throat> and we're going to rise. And we're going to take our stand. And we're going to say enough is enough. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven suffereth violent and the... Uh, 
the violent suffer it by force. I mean, uh, uh, take it by force. Hallelujah. The gates of hell shall not prevail. That's what Jesus said. He said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Now, I've got news for you. These evil people are coming after the church in every way they can, and all they're going to do is they're going to scatter us everywhere, and we're going to mop, mop up everywhere we go. Hallelujah. <clears throat> are you here? You're going home. Don't be afraid. Fear not. Rise. Rise to your place. As Nathan was singing by the power of the Holy, he was singing under the inspiration of the Spirit. Rise, rise, rise. And we rise to our place of authority. And we rise to our place of power. And we no longer look and say, oh my, oh my, what are we going to do? Oh my, the enemy is so strong. No, he's not. I love it when Satan is at the, uh, at the pit and they're about to be, he's about to be cast in. And the, the Bible says that the, that the people will say, is this he who calls the nations to tremble? The Wizard of Oz with his little fancy machine. And when you see the grandeur and the glory and the power and the majesty of the Most High in comparison to the little Wizard of Imp, Beelzebub, God of the maggots. Hello. This is the one that caused the nations to tremble? You've got to be kidding me. But I want you to know that we're going to, we were having a remnant that's getting that revelation now. Well, we pray and nothing changes. That's why. Because you don't believe it's going to change. Like Luke with Obi, I mean with Yoda. I don't believe it. That is why you fail. Because we turn on CNN and MSNBC, hello, and ABC and CBS and Politico and PBS. Are you here? And Bloomberg. In the mass media, the AP, the UPI. And dear Lord, social media. And it infiltrates our minds with constant, constant, constant. I mean, you cannot put a post out there that is anti-coronavirus vaccine or even questions the legitimacy of some study without having it plastered with fact-checking and, and it's been removed because of this, or, you know, e even this. This doesn't actually violate our community standards, but we think you ought to do this before you look at it. They're wearing people down. And this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Now, I'm going to throw something else in there on some of you conservatives. You may as well bottle Fox News up in that watching the stuff all the time, too. Because all they do is make you bad. If you're a conservative, all they do is make you mad about all the stuff the liberals are doing. Really? They're not helping you. They're not going to help you have good success. They're not going to help you deal wisely in the affairs of life. You're just going to be ticked off. You're going to walk around blowing smoke out your nose. Are you here? But you won't be doing anything that, that puts something in you that you can deal wisely in the affairs of life, where you can have good success. Amen? 
<laughs> whereby you can prosper. There's only one way to do it, church. Let's get back. Let's get back to what we were when we first became charismaniacs. Man, it was the word. What's the word say? What's the word say? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? You got a word? I got. I want to hear. What's the word? Well, thank God. At least they were after the word from God. Now most Christians, even charismatics, run word of faith, we run around. What did Tucker say? What did Lemon say? What did Trump say? What did Biden say? I'll tell you, God got the last say. God Almighty has the last say. Amen. And we've got to get our mind back. Blessed is the man whose mind has stayed on thee. Perfect peace have they that his mind has stayed on thee. We got to get our minds back on God. Understand our authority. Take our place and combat evil with the word. Combat evil in prayer. And combat evil with our authority. <coughs> and call people out of positions of power in the name of Jesus. Well, we prayed in the last election. You prayed for a certain uh, um, candidate from a certain party to be put in place. We are to pray that God bring down those who are evil and elevate those. Let, let the Lord determine who the right one is. You become ineffective if you zero in on this is the perfect candidate for this and the perfect candidate for that. Now, as a citizen, you're going to make a choice, but you need to make your choice based on what you hear the Lord say in prayer. Now, let me give you an example. The Arizona senator, the senator from Arizona that won this last election is a Democrat. But she's given their party a fit. They only had half my face. I guess I could be that guy for the, the uh, Marvel comics or whatever, Two-Face, Batman movies. All right. DC, I'm sorry, DC. My comic book people back here. I was in the wrong universe. I was in the Marvel universe instead of the DC universe. Okay. Now, everybody thought, that, oh, no, we, we got 50-50. We got the, the Democrats have power over everything. Anything that Biden and Pelosi want, they're going to get. And she ain't giving it to them. She's not. So, you, you know, you think, well, that, that was it. She won. She, that's the, no, she's giving them a fit. She, she's holding their feet to fire on a bunch of stuff. And, and what's the name over there in um, West Virginia? Has, 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 uh, I think she's emboldened him. So you can't, you can't just go, it's got to be this party or that party or this or that. We've got to pray that evil's removed. That God brings down evil. And listen, we are, we are infiltrated with evil people. I mean, they just, they just uh, confirmed a, an echo terrorist from the 80s or 90s, whatever, is in charge of the banking system. And they were, they were known as a terrorist. And, you know, like, how, how do you get to do that? <laughs> Evil. But don't quit. See, but we've been walking around, and we got so caught up with our political parties and which party was going to be right and which party had to be in charge that we forgot to pray for God to remove people and raise up the right people. He could raise up a Green Party person who listens to him. And no matter what, they're, you know, what they, they tell them to do, they do, he, they do what God says to do. I'm just trying to make you understand. We've been going about this the wrong way. Because we've been trying to align parties to, our, to the church or the church to parties instead of aligning God's will against certain ones and for others as he chooses and he sees because he sees what we can't 
He sees the heart of men and women. Now, we can come over here and argue about the platforms and all that kind of stuff. I get all that. But we and our authority need to be praying that the Lord raise up the right people and put down the wrong people. Amen. Right here in this county, there are people that need to be removed from certain positions. Yesterday. I'm not going to say it publicly. Okay. But we, we do. We, we join us on prayer. We'll talk about it in prayer. Private prayer. Closed meeting. Okay. You get ready to mute, weren't you? Just in case. But there are people empowered in this county right here that need to be removed from office. They are, they're not just bad, they're evil. Hello? And it has to be done. But the church has to pray. Our authority. We got to begin using our authority and say no more. We will not... And get the church on the same page. We got to forget about race. We got to forget about party. We got to forget about all kinds of junk and get a hold of the will of God, the purposes of God, the mind and counsel of God, and pray that out. Amen. Well, I'm voting for them because they're white. Well, what's wrong with you, fool? I see some white folks that don't need that don't need to be in charge of the outhouse. Are y'all here? You going home? Well, I'm voting for them because they black. Are you crazy? I seen folks that are black that shouldn't be the helper of the guy who shouldn't be in charge of the outhouse. Y'all here? You going home? Well, I'm going to vote for them because they're my same gender. They're my same race. They're my same last name. They're from my hood. They're from my neighborhood. I, stupid. It is in the prayer time and in a secret place with the Most High that we get led by the Spirit and get direction from the Holy Ghost. And we need to come out and act on that and use our authority along those lines and speak along those lines. And we've, Jesus said... I only do those things which I see my father do. Well, where did he see him in that secret time of prayer? He only spoke those things which he heard his father say. Hello. When we get together and give out our opinion. In church, we're in trouble if we don't hear what the Spirit of God saying. There's an army rising. You don't want to get left out. You will be right smack dab in the middle of it. Amen. Marching in your authority and in your power and in the calling of God and getting the work of the Lord done and seeing things turn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are revivals coming on the earth. There are things coming on the earth that will come. And there will be a great ushering in. There will, be a, there will be an apostasy. But there'll be an ushering in also. You don't think that the thing is going to culminate in a greater apostasy than you do in an end gathering, do you? Hello? Think about it. The way some people talk, we, we ain't going to have, barely going to have, we ain't going to have nobody make it in. Dear Lord. I'm telling you, they're, just, they, they're all going to be apostate. No, the masses are coming in. Hallelujah. You now have Muslim, Muslims that are being murdered because they're converting to Christianity. Well, they went to heaven. They could have lived a long life and went to hell. They went to heaven instead. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So, I don't have any clue what time it is. I had to change my sermon because the Lord told me to. And uh, what I'm doing, I'm stopping. I've said what he had me to say. I don't have anything else to say. Huh? It's 2 o'clock. All right. So, we love all y'all. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. See you next time here at Faith and Victory Church online. Until we meet again, <coughs> remember these words from 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. This 
is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. See you next time here, Faith the Victory Church. Praise the Lord.